It's already halfway through the year and we're starting from scratch. By completing SBCs, playing matches and competing in foot champs, we're going to build the best ultimate team that we can in the time available. Welcome to my FIFA 17 Halftime Road to Glory. That's right ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number 26 of the Halftime Road to Glory. And I'd just like to say thank you for all the support on the series, first of all. But second of all, could I ask you guys a big question? Let me know how the audio is for this episode. I think I've recently, cle I've recently cleaned out my room, right? And I've moved my computer around and I'm wondering whether or not the background noise is very evident. Also on top of that, how bad is the echo? Because I, I can hear an echo, but I'm not sure how much it impacts you guys. So let me know down in the comment section below. And let's get into the video with a whole bunch of gameplay for this episode. Um, so yeah, first of all, we come up against a very, very tidy um, Bundesliga team. Not one that you would see very often in um, the later stages of FIFA, but definitely one you would see earlier on in FIFA. And Messi manages to wiggle his way through the gaps to make it 1-0. But let me just not talk about... You guys can watch... You guys can watch the, um, the footage and the gameplay unwind for you on your screen over in front of you. But um, what I really want to talk about is the issue I had... And you would have seen the video uh, maybe about two days ago, three days ago. The issue I had with this weekend league. Why? Why would the game connect me over to Colombia? I don't. I don't get it. And the thing is, is like um, and it might not have been so evident within the video. And I do really want to address this because I feel like I might get comments on this. It might not to be ev so evident on the video about the speed up lag and all that sort of stuff, but you can see micro pauses. And that's the real important thing. That if you can see micro pauses in the game, you know that the game is because you I'm, I'm assuming everyone's experienced speed up lag before it's a terrible thing to go through i wouldn't wish it upon any of my opponents ever in fifa because it's pretty much you you've got yourself a loss hands down you can't control what you're doing now the thing is is that i never had any connection problems so i never cut from the service I'm just always that far behind from the surface. So you can see micro pauses every single few seconds. And you can imagine what the button input delay is. You can That's why for so many of those challenges, you can see when I'm defending, my player just run past my opponent and completely um, completely miss the tackle. And that's, that's how unplayable it was. And that's really what I wanted to address in the crux of the issue right there is because because of those micro pauses, because of all that sort of stuff, I really couldn't play at all that match, which is absolutely, absolutely stupid. And um, we do really need to see um, some changes when it comes to where we're connecting in the EA servers and what where we are connecting across the globe, because I don't want to play in an American server, let's be honest here. But anyway, let's move on from that. That's enough about that topic. Let's talk about the weekend league right there. And a lot of these games you're going to see is actually me winning, because I, de I definitely did decently well this, uh, this weekend. Um, you might have heard from that video I was 21 and 8. I actually managed to push on to go 30 and 10. So I managed to go 9 and 2 in my final 11 games. And of course that means that we get a La Liga team of the season pack, which is absolutely sensational. Um, and we have a chance of pulling a very, very big card. There's a lot of expensive team of the seasons in that. Um, set of group of players so getting elite this week was absolutely essential to our success on the road to glory and um, yeah but on top of that I really want to say that this could have been easily been a 33-34 week for me um, I was playing decently well if you discard that one game where um, we had a bunch of um, connection issues um, you'll see another game coming up as well where I managed to absolutely dominate my opponent. He had two shots, two shots on target to my 14 and like eight because my players were all missing stuff. And um, and I just couldn't win. He won 2-1, scored a goal in the 90th minute to win the match and that was pretty much it. So it was that sort of weekend where I'm really, really close to winning those matches. I just need that extra edge and... That brings me on to my next point, which is um, 
I don't think the Calcioe team is good in the standing that it's in. The problem with it, right, is, and I really, I really want to talk about this because this is going to lead onto a big decision I've just made, and um, I've sold on a whole bunch of players, is that um, with the Calcio A team, you don't have the strength up front. You, it, the all the players are super short. They're like five nine, five ten. I need that Suarez type char character. So we're gonna have to re re redo the team a bit, and that's gonna lead me to selling on Subasic, Taliso, and Fakir. And I'll probably keep Aurier. Aurier is a very very decent right back, and I spent I spent eight k on him because of all the hype and stuff. But um, might use Marquinhos later down the line, so we might as well keep um, what's his face Aurier. We might as well keep Aurier. And this opponent right here, you might look at the gameplay right. This dude was super unlucky. I have got to say, like, look at this right. So the first of the first, like. I've actually played against this dude before multiple times. He finishes top 100, uh, not top 100, but um, at least top 50 in the region, quite regularly. And um, and unfortunately for him, this match, you, you'll see the third goal. The second goal was actually very beautiful. Mertens did a nice pass into Talisa. Talisa there with a double tap, finesse across the keeper to make it 2 0. And then um, his third goal, like, what is even going on? And he was messaging me after saying, it's just fun when you De Gea just does stupid stuff. Look at this. Rebound straight to my to my Marquisio, and it's just unacceptable. Some Sometimes the game's just in your favor, and sometimes it isn't, and it's understandable that you rage quit on out of there. Um, I can accept that, and um, you can see that we did pretty much dominate most of the stats. He said I was probably deserved to win, but the goals I, he was conceding was just very, very unlucky, and that is what FIFA is really at the end of it. Um, but this was the game, right? 14 and 8 shots, 60% possession to 2 and 2, and that's just that's just unbelievable how, um, how unevenly... The game can be, and I still lose that match. But as I was saying, going back to it, um, Subasic, he's not outstanding. He's probably worse than Buffon, I would say. He doesn't. He lets in a lot of chances that you think shouldn't go in, and it's it's just not acceptable. So I thought I'd sell on Subasic because I just don't like him as a keeper. Um, Taliso, he was really decent. He was actually very, very decent. He was all over the pitch. He was kind of like a Kante, except I didn't notice him. Now, for 400,000 coins, you've got to notice a player. Pogba, absolute tank in this game, six foot two, and I notice him off the ball. That is the key difference. I notice Pogba off the ball. I do not notice Taliso off the ball, unfortunately. So um, and he's only five foot eleven with four stars, uh, three star, three star. So, um, I don't really notice him off the ball, and for that reason, I got to say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sell him. I really am gonna have to sell him, because um, because I can invest that 400k elsewhere better. So um, that's what's gonna happen. On top of that, Fakir, I honestly thought he would do better. He's worse than Dybala. He's probably, he, he does some amazing things sometimes, but he's just very clunky sometimes. I don't know what it is. Maybe I was playing him in the wrong position. He does bomb up that wing, which is absolutely crucial. But he's not the type of player that I need to be playing when I have, like, Dybala and Mertens and all that sort of stuff. I need a strong type striker. So I'm going to sell on Fakir as well, and you guys will all see that in the next episode. Um, as we make it 5 on there, a sweaty across from Mertens, and... I'm a sub, as, I, as you see, I was subbing on Messi and his son and, um, and Marcus Alonso at the CDM position to see out the games, and that's not what you want. I don't want to see out the games with um, with using a different team. Like, oh, I have to sub on these players to win matches. I want to win matches with my base team, and um, that's the problem I'm having, really, is that... The team is just not physical enough, it's just not skillful enough, it's just not agile enough for me to actually win those matches first time. So that's the reason why I'm going to change up the team, um, but it was a fun experiment. I actually really did like Marquinhos. Marquinhos is actually very, very good. He's very fast. Um, he's got great tackling and um, 
tackling and physical stats. And he bullies off people like Ronaldo, like um, Suarez, like uh, who else? Like that wants to watch Dembele all the time. Hey, that card is so stupid. It ruins me every single time. Um, but yeah, so those are the sort of cards that Marquinhos is able to body off. And that's what we really, really need from someone like Marquinhos. And look at here. Nice little pass from Messi to Suarez to make it 3-0. And um, a bit of speed up lag, as you can see there. I always get hit with speed up lag. I don't know what it is, but um, unfortunately for me... That's what I have. I just have to deal with it and I just have to get through it, unfortunately. And it probably will cost me about one or two matches every single week in league. So that's very, very unfortunate. But we're going to come up into the final game of today's episode, guys. As you can see, Sun, Martial, and Dembele. And this opponent was just another class. I'm going to say that right now. 4 1, he's beating me. Um, and I didn't really want to show you the goals because they were just like. I, I don't have the time really, I really wanted to cram as many games into this episode as possible. So, I'm going to finish it off here, and he's going to make it 5-1 with a nice little double tap from Martial. This opponent was just very, very good all rounds, and um, absolutely ruined me with that Dembele. And he made it 5-1, and that is going to be our final match of... Um, the foot champs, but as I said, I didn't really matter losing this m match that much because we had already got 29 wins And as you can see he was very much the deserved opponent um, More possession more shots on target more shots, so I will happily take a loss there but from that guys as you can see right now we managed to finish on 30 wins which is currently at the time 82nd in the world obviously i've dropped out of the top 100 but that is 30 wins with um 10 losses for the weekend league which means we get two team of the season la liga players i'm hoping we can get someone big can we get some money that's what we really really need um so yeah that is what i'm really really hoping for that is what we need. Now, looking back on the team, as you can see, I was also playing the 4-2-3-1. I think it's very defensive, and I don't think it's the best when you don't have Ronaldo's and Suarez's and Messi's up front. So, I'm just not going to use that formation from now on. As I said, Subasic, I thought he was alright. As you can see, 17 games played because I started using the other team more so for those final games to try and win those matches. And I didn't think he was that good. He, he let in a lot of silly goals that I don't really... Um, expect from my goalkeeper. Marquinhos, absolutely sensational. I actually brought him on as a CDM, so, uh, as a super sub, because um, he's very, very good at the CDM position to just close out games. And uh, Taliso there, six goals, four assists in 26 games. Obviously he's, obviously, he's playing the CDM position, but as I said before, I will sell him on because I don't notice him, which is unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. Um, I really, really hope that I would notice him a bit more. And then finally, Fakir, um, we bought him for 72. I think we're going to sell him for about 67. So we take a bit of a loss on him. But um, 17 games, 6 goals, 4 assists. He's not really doing that much. And he, I, I really thought Dybala was a lot better than Fakir. I don't know what it was about Fakir. I just couldn't get his groove going. Maybe a Lacazette would have been better in that position. But to finish off the episode, guys, we are going to finish off with... Um, some Liga Santander um, premium upgrade packs. And for next episode, what I'm going to do is, because it's a Fernandez, I'm going to try and do the Suarez SBC. So I'm going to sell on all of the players that I get um, that I want to sell on. Then I'm going to start doing some more of these upgrades. Going to get a whole bunch of players and just complete the Suarez SBC. I think that's what we need to do. Um, get a whole bunch of packs for the Calcio A. And then, so... Next episode, guys, we're going to be getting that Fernandez card. We, I think it's Fernandez. We're going to be getting that Fernandez card. We are also going to be getting um, probably SBC Suarez if I can get it all done in time. Then in the next episode after that, we'll have the La Liga Team of the Season pack to open as well as the Calcio A pack opening. And then finally, we're going to be doing some foot champs in the next episode. But... To finish off the episode, guys, I thought, why not open a Prime Gold Players Pack? Considering we have so many packs, La Liga Team of the Season is out, and we open the pack, there's no walkout, so there's no La Liga Team of the Season. But we do manage to get a Fonte 83-rated card. 
um, very decent. I will use him definitely in SBCs because he's going to be useful. Same with John Terry. John Terry is also going to be extremely useful. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Next episode, the team will change dramatically, probably somewhere back to the original team. And we'll also be going to be going for that Fernandez card and um, completing SBC Suarez. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below telling me what you think about the audio situation. And uh, drop us a subscribe as always. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next episode.